I always give thanks to the Creator, one more time. Oh, 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 oh. From whom all blessings flow, the teacher gets a chance to be amongst his students and see how they have grown and developed and what they've done. Now, I say that because for me, when we talk about Grandmaster Dr. Moses Fowle, oh, oh, oh. that's the man. Yes, sir. And so look at the fruits now and how it is manifesting itself. And so his spirit is here and always is and will be because I bring him up often in my school. So I know the spirit is alive. Got the picture on the wall, but I can carry that other part in my heart. Not being a student that worked directly with him, but had the honor and the privilege of witnessing his magic, of witnessing his technique of looking at how he was able to breathe life into so many people and then have that one person that he breathed so much life in throw all them punches and kicks at me in Madison Square Garden. And to understand that somebody mentioned it today, we still got off. And the love and the respect is there, so it's something about that teaching. So I, I wanted to make sure that I took the time to say that first before I offer any little bit that I can share with what I do for the in your system. But it is so wonderful, so do me a favor, I'm gonna acknowledge Lou Ferreira once again for help pulling everybody together. One more round for that. <laughs> uh, Professor Bill, who when I call him on a regular basis when we talk um, I try to tease him and fool him whenever I call him every now and then, but he's catching on. But he told me that he wanted me also to be here to be involved. And I'm looking at this magic, this brother here, you, what, what made you decide to pull this together? Was it a voice? What did you hear? My teachers. My Us. teachers. My teachers. My teachers. I did. And so, yes, please. Say something, jump in real quick, because I got the mic in my hand. Yes, sir. Right? Um, Tiari Cassell, I, everybody, if you don't know who he is, he's one of the pioneers. There's a, there's another brother in here that I have to acknowledge, Ralph Mitchell. Right. One, of, one of the uh, pioneers. Uh, um, what these two brothers do and what they bring to the table is magical. Uh, Ralph, please, please, Ralph, so people can see who you are, right? What, what they do is magical, and and particularly, particularly Ralph, yes, in in terms of um, of of vijitsu and stuff like that. A lot of things that Ralph does, he's he's a southern man, a stylist, which uh, you don't see too much. People know how to operate it and stuff. The brother know how to operate it, and later on. Somebody asked me earlier about what maybe we may be doing next. What we may be doing next is these two guys. These two guys, what they bring to the, and another one's here, um, Dr. Bear in some place. I ain't even messing with them. Right? But what they, 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 they were considered to be Kung Fu stylists, but it's a different type of flavor that they bring to what it really is. And you got to strip the name off it so you'll be able to really see the truth of what they do and how it applies to your art. Right? Because they got two arms and legs and all that type of stuff. And they ain't that many different ways they can manipulate and do it. But what they bring to the table will help you to grow phenomenally. So, just want to acknowledge this brother. Us. Right? Us. Us. Yeah. 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 I'm so glad that you said it because this brother was a fighter. He did his movements and techniques, not just form, as well. So. Let me try to do one little thing. Can I get somebody I can work with? Just one minute. Somebody who's not too. Take it. Take it. Let me get that When Professor Lou, when he was, uh, 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 when Mr. Lou was just working the technique, first he threw the hook punch. And when he threw the punch, I thought it was so interesting. I love the fact that he said immediately to step in. So that same movement, and following up with him, the same movement, when you step in, I always keep my hands, palms open, 
often. <coughs> Fist habits. But the, the softer form is something that I utilize. But the hand here, when this one blocks, that right hand comes in right for the throat. I go right for the throat because I know that I'm going to get your attention. If I can do damage right away, it changes a lot of things up. The thumb comes in, grabs. The other two fingers grab the juggler. Once that happens right away, that's when the left hand comes. Does it make sense? So, so watch it again. We're doing it solo. So when it comes in, it steps in, grab right here. I pick and pull, snatch. When I snatch it, the left hand comes down, bring it down right away. Now, because if it happens and you can follow it, let this hand slide back. Let it right from here. Let's do it again. Mm. Let it slide back. I pull, snatch it, slide back. So now where you can twist and control all the way through. All the way back. Let's do it slow. Let's try it again. That's right. Each one get a, get a partner. One time. One time. We're going to do it again. Here it is. Left hand punches, stepping in. Left hand is blocking. Right thumb goes immediately toward the side of the throat. Two fingers grab the jugular. Grab it. Squeeze. Fingers pull in and touch. When you snatch, bang. Elbow up. Hook. Or palm of the hand. Got it? Slide it back. The hole. You can twist through and you have it. All right, let's go. Let's go.